Good Thursday morning, everybody. Come on in. It's time to cook again. I am cooking, guess what, a chicken pot pie. I hope you're having a God-blessed day. It's a beautiful day here today in North Carolina. A little bit overcast, but a beautiful day nonetheless. Okay, I um, remember the other day when I made my gumbo, I had some chicken left over, so I got a bright idea. Since I knew Tony was coming home, I'm going to do some like casserole type dishes to take him to eat. Uh, Lisa has gone back to work, so this is sort of easy to make, so we hope it's going to be good. And I haven't done chicken pot pie since my children were babies. So I'm going to go ahead and add, I got one uh, fourth of a cup of butter in here. This is one pound of chopped chicken breast that I seasoned and had marinated for babies. Y'all know I got the big chunky piece of chicken in there. So we're going to go ahead and start browning that chicken. I need to set that up too well. Here. But anyway, we're going to get that chicken brown. And it's going to be cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to take my chicken here. And I'm going to have to finish cutting what I see I did not cut. I got this heat up high because I sort of want it to cook. I want it to like um, sear or saute or something like that. I don't want a lot of water in it. But you're going to have to add quite a bit of chicken broth in here so we can cook it. So keep that heat up high, get that going. And next I'm going to start adding in my veggies. Um, Y'all know I'm a non-traditional cook. I use some traditional techniques and some stuff that I just like to do. Okay? So, Get that chicken browned up in there. I'm going to start adding in my veggies. Now, um, this is, okay, I'll just tell you what, what they are as I add them in. This is one medium onion that's going in, okay? There's my medium onion. And I'm, I'm beginning to use my good old cutting board more and more, y'all. So, Chop my onions on my cutting board with my nice knives, rose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I didn't have any celery, so I'm going to substitute green pepper for celery. I didn't have celery. I cannot believe I didn't have celery. I used it the other day when I made my um, salsa. So I don't have celery. Now, when this, these veggies cook down and wilt, this will all shrink tremendously. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and start adding the rest of my, uh, these are mixed vegetables. I'm supposed to be adding one cup of mixed vegetables. Okay. Probably a little bit more because this is going to be a pretty good size um, pot pie, y'all. Okay. And the only other veggie I've got there, i got some potatoes. I chopped some potatoes to go in there. Let's just go ahead and put it off. But what I don't use in this in this one is too much. I will certainly make a second one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add my chopped potatoes in here. You know, it takes a little while sometimes for potatoes to cook. So what I did to make sure that they are done and cooked all the way through, I went ahead and put my potatoes in the microwave and let them cook in the microwave first. Okay, so I got some potatoes. That's all stuck to the plate there, didn't we? But anyway, just a few extra added potatoes. And I didn't realize that my mixed vegetables did have some potatoes. But I like lots of potatoes in mine. So I'm going to go ahead and add them and allow them to cook right on through. As you can see, this is a nice, it's going to be a nice, big, healthy pan. And I'm going to be cooking in this pan here. No doubt there will probably be some left over. But we're not going to worry about it because we're going to use every last bit of it. So now i got everything in there cooking. Of course, I've got to add my cream. I've got to add some seasoning and some flour to thicken and some broth to cook. Okay. Everything is cooking nicely. I'm going to add me a half a teaspoon of onion powder. I've already seasoned this meat, but the onion powder, no salt in it, remember. So I don't have to worry about that. This is my Japanese um, 
seasoning, put some of that in there. This stuff is good. I like it, y'all. And I need some garlic powder. Everything's half a teaspoon because, um, well, yeah, half a teaspoon. So I got so many different ones to go in here. So that might have been a teaspoon, y'all. Okay. Now, let's see, that's the onion powder, garlic powder, uh, a little bit of complete seasoning. I don't want to get a, a too much salt on it. Even for Tony uh, and for myself, I'm still watching the salt, y'all. So we want it to be tasty. Okay. Oh, smells so good. Smells so good. So what are you guys doing this morning? I hope you've been praying for others and making somebody's day today. Plus, I, you know, I get up, pray, and go to bed, pray, and pray all during the night when I get up. Uh, so I, I'm praying all the time. So you remember, we pray without ceasing. Okay. Mmm. Now y'all know that's going to be a good old chicken pot pie. Y'all already knew it. I already know the truth about this chicken pot pie. It's going to be yummy for the time. So we're going to cook this for about 15 minutes because uh, the cook time in the oven, I believe, is 30, 35 minutes. So make sure everything is pretty much done when we put it in the pie shell almost. Okay. My potatoes are not sticking very softly. Mmm. They'll be alright. By the time everything cooks, it'll, they'll be soft enough. Okay. So we just want to let that continue to cook. Um, there's something I'm missing, seems like. I'm missing something. I'll think of whatever it is. Oh, I need the tumor. That's what it is. You know I have to put some tumor and some... Um, Let's find the tumor out the cabinet and some curry. Y'all know every chance I get, I use curry. Oh, I need to, I seem like I need to make a visit to the pet food store. Mm. Oh, I've got, you know what? What am I worried about? This is a little curry powder I'm going to put in there. And this will help with the, um, you know, to me, curry powder has a great, um, what do you call it, celery uh, of aroma to it, or not aroma, but flavor to it. So, since I did not have any uh, celery, that tumor can pull that flavor that that celery was supposed to give off. Okay? So, just remember that curry powder, you can use it and then put a little bell pepper. And that's just, just what you need. Okay. So we're going to just let that cook and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I've got my pie crust in uh, the pan. So here's the pie crust I'm using. I've had good success with this one when I made that potato pudding. So I'm using food line pie crust again. I got the bottom one in. It's a little bit... um larger the pan's a little bit larger than the pan. I think it's like a 10 inch pan but honey all we had to do is just put it in there and stretch 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 a little bit and we'll get it in there it's gonna do y'all it's gonna do next thing I'm gonna do is go over here back over here to my mixture and I got a, a third of a cup of flour we'll go ahead and put that in mix it in and this is sort of like you mixing like a, um <coughs> mixing up your gravy gravy mix. You can get that flour mix in there real good. And then I'm going to put, I'm using um, evaporated milk, uh, like a half a cup. This is my cream I'm putting in here. Okay. About a half a cup right there. It's going to be nice and creamy, y'all. And then I've got to put in there um, some broth. Now here I go again. Y'all know me. 
I said the other day when we talked, I didn't have any chicken broth. I went and spent $150 at the grocery store. Still didn't get any chicken broth, but that's okay. Because you know why? I got enough seasoning sitting around here that I can make some chicken broth. And I don't even have any uh, chicken bouillon cubes or anything like this. But um, I've got like, I've, for one thing, I've got, I've got that mushroom seasoning. Put some of that. I would get me a, a cup and a half of water, some mushroom seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, complete seasoning. Um, onion powder, garlic. Yeah, just take seasonings like that because certain flavors and seasonings taste almost the same. And once they get mixed in, unless you just got, you know, all those super duper expert skills to know that I mixed all that rather than chicken broth. Plus, you know, you got all this chicken in here. So we're good. Okay. So this is my makeshift chicken broth. So I mixed it. Like I say, I, this is a cup and a half of water with uh, a tablespoon of my mushroom seasoning, onion powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, uh, a tablespoon of complete seasoning, and some of my gold mountain seasoning, some black pepper. Whip that all up, and thus I ended up with my uh, chicken broth. This is my Peggy's own chicken broth, chickenless chicken broth. So I'm not going to use all of that in here. Okay, about that much. I think you're supposed to use about a cup and a half. We're just going to watch that bubble up a little bit. Let it bubble, bubble, bubble up. Okay. Okay. That looks about right to me. A little, little more. Okay, there we go. And we're going to let that sit there. And sizzle for a little bit for about five minutes and then when it sizzles for five minutes we're going to let it cool down and then we're going to go ahead and fill this pie shell get it into the oven for about 45 minutes get it out cool it down and then i can get tony some chicken pot pie over to the house how's that so we're going to turn that heat down some so that's my version of chicken pot pie y'all we'll come back when i get ready to fill the shell and we'll keep it moving and if you think this ain't good, you're mistaken. Okay, be right back. I just tasted that feeling. Epic, y'all. Epic. Okay, y'all. It's time to get the filling into the pot pie. Um, I let it cool off just a little bit. And I do think I'm going to have some of this filling left. And I'll have to get another pie fit shell. Uh, this is going to, I'm just going to go ahead and start putting it in. Or it might not. This is a good size pan. Mary Elizabeth, this pan holds a lot of stuff. So I might not have none left over. Who knew? Okay. Okay. We're going to fill it nice and full, but not too full because y'all remember I got to put a top crust. And I got to make my top crust meet my um, <clears throat> bottom crust since this pan is a little bit bigger than the actual crust, okay? Okay. Put a little bit more. So I gotta be able to fold it in around the edges a little bit. Yeah. Remember how I did my uh, potato pudding? I just folded, I made it work. We're gonna make this work too. But ideally you want a nine inch pan. This is a 10 inch pan, y'all. I don't have a nine inch pan. Okay, so there we go. Whew, that's gonna be so wonderful. So wonderful. Okay. Okay, baby, stop while you're here, girl. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put this um, other part under this other part for us to get it going on top of here. And we're going to make magic as far as getting it to fit. I left it 
I think I left enough around the edges out here. This is gonna take a little bit of finessing, so we, we're gonna get it done, y'all. So y'all, y'all, bear with me, pray with me, have faith in me. See what we're gonna do? Just lay it across there like so. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna do a whole lot. I'm gonna seal it as best I can around these edges, it's just like I did with that potato pudding. However, it falls in there. Hmm, I can put a little bit more under there. Yeah, we want to fill these edges up pretty good. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So I'm just, I'm just going to tuck it in like that. And I believe, I believe it's going to do okay. Just tuck it in like so. Mm hmm Okay. We pray when we cut it and lift it out of there, it's going to do all right. But we're just going to. You know, you have to leave a little air pockets on top here, y'all know. I used to love to do this when my mom was making her pies. Let's bring it this way so we won't upset the apple cart, y'all. Yeah. Okay. So, this pot pie is ready to go into, uh, I think I'm putting it in a 400 degree oven. Um, and I'm going to cook it for about 45 minutes. And when it comes out, we're going to check it out and see what's going on with it. So, y'all hang tight. Don't leave me. Okay.
What is the average time to cook a chicken pot pie?
Okay, y'all, the pot pie is beautiful. It's out of the oven. I'm starting to cut it. I almost forgot to film this part, but it's done. I'm on the run. Get ready to get Tony his part. Take it to him, and I'm out of here for my appointment. Thank y'all for tuning in. Keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. Pray without ceasing. Do something good for somebody today. Love you guys. Till I cook again now. Toodaloo.